Hey guys, Nick here with Gear Nut, and this is going to be a video about my Pro Pack 2 Wicked Edge knife sharpening system. It comes with a Wicked Edge Model 120 unit for your sharpening, for your, for your sharpener. And I tell you what, I'm just going to go over what it comes with and my opinion about this knife sharpener. Um, it's the best knife sharpener that I've ever used. Now, is it the perfect knife sharpener? No. No, it's not. There's some drawbacks to it. Um, let's, let's just show you. Basically, this system is kind of designed to be used with an angle cube. And this little angle cube is a fantastic little unit. You know, set it down, zero it out, boom, zero. Now you just take and slide one of these stones on. And you can find any angle that you want. It's got micro adjustments. Uh, let me see if I could move. You guys see that? Oh, that's probably worse. Slide back this way. There you go. So, you can adjust this with this micro adjustments right down here and actually get the exact angle that you want, you know? So, it's pretty cool, you know? Definitely something that a lot of people would probably get enjoyment out of. You know, precision. <laughs> so, is this kit for everybody? No, no it's not. You know, it's it's expensive. It's very, very expensive. Um, it is a little bit fiddly when you want to mount in knives. You know, you got to loosen these up, tighten these up, mount them up, take and stick your depth key in here, and basically try to mount a knife in here is sometimes a challenge especially on a full flat ground knife a full flat ground knife is definitely definitely a challenge for this unit and also the wicked edge go i also have the wicked edge go but um, this style of a clamp is pretty easy to use if you're going to be clamping on a flat spine if there's a part on the spine of your knife that's flat like down here then this system's going to work pretty dang good. It's going to be very, very easy and quick to find that spot to clamp it and make it work. Now, if your knife only has nothing but angles, it's a full flat ground, there's no flat portion on that blade to clamp, your blade is going to, let me mimic this, your blade is going to... See, this is where that cam lever would be nice on some of those other models. Your blade is going to rock back and forth like this in your vise every time you sharpen. You try to put pressure, it's going to rock on you. And now, you do not have a precision edge. So, you can MacGyver and wedge and make it work, but it takes time. So, you have to ask yourself, is that time that you're going to save worth the upgraded cost of your models. I didn't know that before I bought this. You know, I thought I could MacGyver it and it wouldn't take that much time. And you can, but it takes more time than what I had previously thought. So that's the downside of the Wicked Edge 120 or the Wicked Edge clamps like this. And that also goes the same for the Wicked Edge Go. So the Wicked Edge Go has the same clamp the same type, the same problems. Now, it's okay, because I'm not a big full flat grind guy. I got a couple knives that I'm struggling to sharpen, but I'll have to make it work. Um, I spent over $1,000 in Wicked Edge products. And <laughs> tell you what, I wish somebody would have held my hand and walked me through it a little better, but it is what it is. And that's why I'm making these videos. So, do I regret buying this knife sharpener? No. Do I wish that I probably would have spent a little bit more money and got the Wicked Edge 130? Yeah, I do. Um, I feel that the Wicked Edge 130 for a home base model and the Wicked Edge Go would be a perfect pair combination. I, I could do a lot with that system setup. And am I ever going to be able to upgrade and get the clamp that I want off the Wicked Edge 130 and upgrade my 120 to it? I don't think so. I think that my wife will kill me or leave me if I spend any more money. So, but 
Wicked Edge, you make some freaking awesome knife sharpeners. This is the best knife sharpener that I've ever used. The second best would be the Wicked Edge Go. The Wicked Edge Go's got some hiccups, but it's a good knife sharpener, but I think the Wicked Edge 120 is better, and I think some of their other newer models at Wicked Edge are better than this model. But if you are on a budget and this is the best you can do, the Wicked Edge, uh, the Wicked Edge 120, it's it's a great knife sharpener. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to buy it if this was the max that I could ever afford. Yes, buy it. But if you could put a little more money with it, you might look at some of the other ones. So, what do you get in the Pro Pack 2 setup? Well, you get a huge Nanook 940 case if you opt for that feature. I did. And we'll take a look at that at the end of the video when I put this all away. But you get your knife sharpener, you get your adjusting tool, stores way down in here. You get micro adjustment, you get your little uh, depth key with two depth adjustments. Pretty cool, right? Pretty nifty. Um, that's a big part. The base that it comes with, I chose for the aluminum base. It's a solid chunk of aluminum. It's like 11 pounds. It's heavy. Uh, I don't know if it's 11 pounds, but the whole system weighs about 20 pounds in the box. So, and check this out. This is where I love this system. It's very easy to read all of your angles. And then it has these really cool detents right here or notches that when you adjust it, it finds the notch, latches it down, and it gets you within the ballpark of using your micro adjustments. Pretty cool, right? Just that quick, you can set an angle and be good to go. For most people, you probably won't need micro adjustments. You're not gonna be that much of an angle snob, but if you're thinking about a Wicked Edge system, you're probably a huge angle snob. Uh, you get some very detailed instructions here explaining everything and how to use this system and get the results that you want. It's it's great. You also get this little template right here for mounting your uh, Wicked Edge on a different base if you so choose to. Now, the angle cube that they give you in the Pro Pack setup is freaking awesome. It's so awesome that I bought a second one for the Wicked Edge Go. Check it out. Pretty cool. So, yeah, <laughs> you get a fillet knife stabilizer. Whoops, I'm dropping stuff. So this is your fillet knife stabilizer. It's got a little fork cut out of here, a little notch cut out. You set it in the back, and you mount your fillet knife, and this helps keep your knife from flexing and bending as you're putting pressure on it, sharpening. Nice feature. Was our trail. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you get some stropping compound, and this is 1 micron and 0.5 micron stropping compound. And the labels on here are super, super microscopic, tiny labels. So if you have a hard time seeing, you might want to write on here with a Sharpie or something. So you don't get them cross-contaminated. Speaking of strops, you get two leather strops. And I am having a problem storing these. If anybody has a solution, I'm trying to store these without cross-contaminating them. I'm putting them in a plastic bag and sliding them into the case because I want to keep everything in the case. Maybe that's my mistake. But if you have a better idea, let me know. But you get a 0.5 micron and a 1 micron leather strop. And it puts a mere edge on your blade like nobody's business. And since we're talking about strops, let's talk about the stones. The stones that come with this is going to be a 100 and 200 grit diamond stone. These work perfect for reprofiling. Uh, they do have an 80 and a 50 that would cut down the time on reprofiling, but for me, I think the 100 and 200 is as low as I need to go. You know, I can't justify the time for the extra money that I would spend on those 80 and 50 stones. Would it be nice? Yes. Do I need it? No. Um, here is the other one. Uh, here's the 400 and 600 diamond stones. And I love these stones. They broke in perfectly. I, they're, they're freaking awesome. Um, for most people, you could stop at 600 and be happy. But let's go up in the system, shall we? Keep going, right? Why not? 
Now you have 800 and 1,000 grit diamond stones. <laughs> now for a majority of people, 1,000 is a good place to stop. But the Pro Pack 2 keeps going. And that's why I chose the Pro Pack 2 because you get quite the value in the stones. Now these are ceramic stones. And you get a 1.4 micron and a 0.6 micron ceramic stone. That puts a mere edge on them. That gets you to going, man, that's shiny. Like, man, the edge of that knife just catches the light. And then you top it off with your one micron and your 0.5 micron leather straps, and you've got a wicked mere edge. So this whole system is a great kit. Um, a couple accessories that you're probably gonna wanna get is the advanced angle alignment guide. This is gonna make resharpening your knife after you've done it once a lot easier, especially if you write it down somewhere and keep a notebook in your box. You're also gonna wanna get one of these super erasers. This, these two accessories are not very expensive. Um, they're well worth the money in my opinion, especially if you invested this much into your package. Now this cleans the pores and the surfaces of your ceramic stones. And you guys can see that I have been using my white ceramics, my 0.6 micron. I do need to clean those with this eraser and I will do that a little later, but that's gonna make a long video, so I'm not gonna do that. But it does work and I'm glad that I bought it and I probably will buy another one. So that's another good accessory. Um, another accessory my wife got me that I've been using is one of these little jeweler loops. This thing is freaking sweet. This helps me see the edge. I absolutely love it. It's made my knife sharpening just that much more pristine. <laughs> Probably one of the number one Wicked Edge accessories you should buy when you get your system. A new box of band-aids because you are going to cut yourself. <laughs> or someone around you is going to cut themselves. So my wife's cut herself. I've cut myself. I've cut myself in the vice sharpening. Yes, I'm going to admit to that. Um, my safety talk was not very good. And I've cut myself several times shutting the knife. You know, I'll be there messing and fiddling around with a knife, and I don't realize how sharp it is because it takes a while for you to acquire the Wicked Edge Knife Sharpening System's sharpness. It is crazy. Oh boy. Um, something that this kit does not come with that is a good investment. Some painter's tape and a couple Sharpies. This is, this is great for finding the edge and getting a full uh, work over on that edge. Making sure you're all the way at the bottom and all the way at the top. And getting a nice apex and then checking for your burr. These are an essential. I will say the Sharpies are good, but the marker that came with the Wicked Edge Go is better. I like this. I will buy a bunch more of these just for my sharpening. It may, it's just super easy. It's like a one swipe. You're done. These little permanent sharper mar Sharpie markers, it's a couple swipes back and forth. So it's just a little thing that I prefer. So... But that's what you get in the sharpener. I'm gonna load this up in the box and I'll show you what it looks like. Actually, I'll show you what the case looks like. Hang on a second, let me change some stuff around. All right, so if you opt to get the Wicked Edge case that they offer, this is what you're gonna get. This is the Nanook 940. Uh, it's got a Wicked Edge little emblem on it. It's a, it's a tough case. It's very impressive <laughs> and it's very stout. You can put weight on it. It's great. Um, let me show you how to load this thing up and show you the quality you're getting. I mean, if you're paying a lot of money for it. It's got little double latches. Pretty cool. It's got a little uh, two lock spots on here. A uh, little burp valve or a bleeder valve or air purge valve. A lot of names for it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. The foam work in here is worth it, let alone. I mean, for me to cut all this out and make it that organized, I'd pay him for that, you know? This is this is crazy. 
It's got spots here to drop in your little syringes for your, your lap or stropping compounds. I want to call it lapping compounds. You know, it's got a little spot up here for your, your super eraser. It's even got a little spot that I'm utilizing for that little jeweler's loop right here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, I gotta find a spot for these. I'm not sure where to put those. I'll just probably drop those down with the arms. So, when you take your system apart, you pull your arms off and you just take your arms and you just drop them down in here like so. They fit real easy. Um, they're secure. Do this off to the side. But it's definitely a good investment to protect your knife sharpener. You know, and as for the whole sharpener, it just comes in here. I'm trying to do this over the lid. It comes in here and it just sits down like so. Right there. You can throw your instruction book. You can throw your little uh, advanced alignment guide. And you can throw your normal alignment guide up there. And as for one of these, you can just pop this down in one of these extra little spots for stones. As far as your stones go, <laughs> this is where it gets really, really cool. Uh, so before we get to the stones, this is your angle cube. Fits in there like a dream. And let's put our stones away, shall we? Those things are not gonna pop out unless you want them to. Look at this. This is a killer setup. Of course, you know, I spent a lot of money. To my door, this whole setup with all my extras that I got was $837. And I know some of you, got a color match, I know some of you probably had a heart attack or a little bit of a stroke when I said that sentence. And that's understandable. It's hard to reach around that lid. But it's an investment, you know. Um, the only thing I don't like about the stone storage is when you get down to your, your, your strops, you know, and this is basically what I've been doing. I take them and I try to get the air out and move it around. And I try to keep the cross contamination, <clears throat> sorry, cross contamination to a minimum, but you can only do what you can do. If you guys have a better option for that, let me know. But right now, plastic bags is the best I could do. Now, because I like to actually be safe on the safe side, or because I like to store things appropriately, I do store my Wicked Edge Go Stones, my extra Wicked Edge Go Stones, in this box. I try to keep them separate. I'm not sure why, but I do. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm different. Um, so, anyhow, but I do store those up there. Yeah, I know somebody's going to probably say, you're not, you put that one in backwards. It's not color matching. Now I fixed it. So the system's great. I just need to find a place to stick the tape in here. Maybe I could just set it right there or something like that. Um, but I need to find a place for tape. And I guess you could take your markers and just drop markers in like that. And that's probably what I'll do. So, but this case is amazing. I absolutely love it, especially with having kids. You know, the last thing I want to do is have my kids come up and damage an expensive knife sharpener or hurt themselves on it. So this case keeps that to never happening because I could put a lock on it, you know? So Nick here with Gear Nut. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section below. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say, <laughs> and you know, there's no real way to justify spending this much money on a knife sharpener. You're doing it because you want to. So I'm really happy with the Pro Pack 2. I think it's a great system, and is there better systems out there? Yes. Can you get a sharp knife without spending this kind of money? Yes. But you know, I chose to do this, and I'm happy that I did. Ooh, that's cool. I'm happy that I did. And I, I don't regret it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helped answer some of your questions. And if not, you know, if you're a vampire that hates life, give me a thumbs down.
you know? <laughs> It'd be nice to see how many vampires are out there. <laughs> I'll check you guys later.